All right, hey folks. So I'm back to make a video uh, to help folks out with Civ 5. I'm here with my good friend Ian, uh, who is my partner in one of our multiplayer games that we have been playing. Um, and just kind of wanted to work together to kind of get some strategies for some games and then also just to kind of help them out a little bit. It's kind of new to Civ 5. So say hello, Ian. <laughs> hey there. Hey. All right, so let's get started with this and let's go. So we picked uh, Mayans in Korea because that's uh, the, the civs that we are actually in uh, one of the other games. Uh, we picked the Earth map because that's also the same map that we're playing in one of the other uh, hot seat games that we're in. Um, and generally the idea for us was technology, right? We're going to be Russian tech with these two because they're very tech focused uh, civilizations. Well, Mayans can be. Um, they're kind of a help every uh, strategy kind of civ <laughs> and then Korea is very focused towards science so but um, oh and we also we don't have any like turn timers on or anything like that which you would probably get in a standard multiplayer game uh, but um, this allows us to have uh, to talk about stuff okay so wow we are far apart um, <laughs> this will make it interesting um, okay so I'm first. Let me let me talk about my area first, um, and then I'm going to talk about yours. Okay. So, wow. Um, okay. So in my area, I have a lot of jungle around me, which is great for science. It is freakishly terrible for production. Um, so, and I don't. Okay. So in my first, let me actually. I'll turn on yield icons. Uh, so you can see all the different resources. So I have, I'm in between two rivers, which makes it really great defensively. Um, I'm on a coast, uh, so I can use water trade, which is very good, because uh, caravans aren't nearly as strong as cargo ships. Uh, let's see what else. I got gems and I've got sh uh, salt. Salt is very good. It's probably one of the best resources you can get. Uh, gems, not so much. It's just kind of nice money. Um, but as you can see, I have a lot of food. I have lots of food and not much production. Um, and the first thing I want to do is I kind of want to look around because if I need to, I can move uh, because, oh, there is a mountain. I just noticed that. I'm so glad I scrolled a little bit. Um, so as having a mountain for science-focused uh, sieves, if you build next to a mountain, you get... Um, what is it? 50% uh, bonus to science with an observatory. Um, so I'm going to go on this hill here and just kind of look around and yeah, I think I'm going to move. Uh, uh, this is tempting. I'm going to move. So I'm probably going to build on that hill that's right next to my axeman. Um, it'll put me next to the crabs. It'll put me next to the salt. So I'll still have two luxuries. But I will be next to a mountain, which will be key for this. Um, so let's just move on down. Um, okay, so let's go look at your side. Uh, wow, you got a ruin. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right off the bat. Yeah, so uh, this is the Earth map. Um, so Earth-wise, I believe I am uh, in Brazil, maybe? That sounds about right. Uh, and I'm you guessing. and you are like in Denmark, maybe like <laughs> you're kind of like yeah far to the east. Uh, Europe sounds about right. Like that could be like the Great Britain Islands or Finland or whatever. Um, yeah, something like that. Okay, so looking at your side. Okay, so you have you got three different luxuries, right? So you got your truffles, you got your cotton, and you got your co uh, your cotton, and you got your silk. That's good because uh, for Korea, you don't want to mail the really large cities, um, and to do that, you need lots of luxuries for each city. Um, so that's pretty good. There's not a lot of production around you, though. Uh, no. It's a lot. I mean, you could leave the forests and go lumber mills. It just means it's going to be a lot slower. Uh, okay, so let's. What what I would suggest is I would suggest to take the axemen 
Um, and maybe, see how there's the marsh that's just south of you? Um, right. And you got you have another forest north of you on the coast. I would go down to the right. Don't grab the ruin. Um, okay. Because you don't want to grab that until you have your sieve. Because the ruins can give you nice bonuses, but some of them are like plus one population. Oh, like population, yeah. And you don't get that yet until you plant. Uh, so go to the, yeah, go to like the down right. You want to see if you should go down at all. No. Okay, so lots more trees. <laughs> uh, and it looks like the, the coast wraps around. Um, yeah, I think I think where you're at is, is a good spot. I mean, it's about as good as you're going to get. Unless right. you want to go looking around. If you want to go looking around, you could be wasting some turns. I mean, because right now, you're within three range, right? Because that's the max range of a city. Yeah. You're in range of your silk and two truffles and two cotton. I mean, that's really good, all within range of your city. The only issue is that you don't have you don't have production. So you're going to be growing really big and just you got to be careful about what you build. Um, right. Yeah, I say go for it. I, I say just all do right. it. Oh, you got plus one population. Nice. <laughs> And look at you're next to fur, so you have four different luxuries next to you, uh, and you have six luxuries total, and you're still not even able to see everything. So wow, you're gonna do well. Okay, so <laughs> uh, in your city, right? So in your city, you definitely want um, you want to work both the the two gold and the two food ones, right? Because uh, growth in the beginning is everything, right? Growth is everything right. in the first turn. Um, and But you want to trigger it, so you want to lock those positions, um, and then you want to select production focus. Um, I think I might have explained this trick to you, right? Have I explained it to you before? Uh, let me say it again. Okay, so if you lock those two positions with the, with the food and the, and the gold, right, and then you gain a population, when you gain a population, what actually happens is you get the population before your next turn, and then whatever that person was assigned to, you actually get the resources for it um, for that one turn when you grew. So right. if you selected food production right now, right, you'd probably, in this case, it would still probably pick the one food, one production ones because those are better than just the one food ones. Right. But if you had like a two production tile, it would just pick another two production tile. The thing is, is when you gain population, uh, you don't get the food for that turn, right? So it's all used up. So basically, if you if your food production focused when you grow, you gain nothing. Um, right. But if you're production focused, you will actually gain the hammers. Um, so basically, every single turn, when I'm about to gain a produ uh, uh, size of my city, I basically lock all the production or food tiles and then go production focused. So, um, okay, so I'm going to hit next turn here. I think everything else is set. Oh, we, you have to pick a um, uh, technology to research. Pottery is always first. It's like a given. There's no reason in any game ever <laughs> you will not be pottery first. Because uh, granaries and shrines are pretty much the core things that you're going to be building early on. So, right. Um, okay, so I'm going to hit next turn. Uh, did you find one? Oh, you did. Good yeah. stuff. Wow, look at that. So, I think the key for us is going to be, um, we got to get you lumber mills soon. Um, so I'm going to run down here, and just for vision's sake, oh, this is going to be perfect. So I'm going to be in range of crab, salt, and marble. And I'm going to have a bunch of jungle tiles. That's going to be good. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. Uh, so I'm set over there. For yours, okay, so let's think. I'm probably not going to micromanage every single turn. <laughs> <laughs> but I just want to kind of explain strategy that I go through in the beginning of the game. right? So like right now, um, there are city-states in this game. right? So your goal is to find a city-state. Um, right. Your warrior, you generally, um, in a multiplayer game, right, which is the one that we are playing, you want to keep your warrior somewhere close to your base. 
uh, just because you'll eventually get a worker and other people can rass and take your workers and all that kind of stuff and you want to just make sure that you're also around your own area um, for barbarians and all that other kind of stuff um, the scout yeah so you're already building the scout that's correct um, the scout will be the one that you can send further out um, I kind of like to do kind of semicircles around my base right so like this guy may you could go like right and then wrap down in a circle and come back to your base and the other guy maybe go up a little bit and then wrap around the top right. um, you know that kind of thing I think that's where you are though I think you're in like Russia territory I'm not entirely sure though I don't know enough about this map I really think that I'm on Brazil isn't there like a mountain on the right side of uh, South America maybe Maybe. <laughs> American terrible geography. I remember okay. on the east side. <laughs> What'd you say? So I remember on the east side. And that could be the Amazon with all the uh, jungles. Yeah, and the dual rivers going through. Yeah. So, yeah, that could be it. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. So I'm going to plant next turn. Um, but yeah, I would grab the rune, definitely. Um and what'd you get? Uh, gold. Oh, okay, that's a that's that's a decent one. It's not like the best ones you can get. Um, yeah, you generally you're gonna want, you know, populations are one of the best. Religions are one of the best. Um, yeah. You know, there's a, there's a lot of really good ones. The worst ones are like, where are the barbarian camps? That that one is yeah. rage worthy. <laughs> I revealed three tiles for you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Where it's like, hey, I revealed the map for you. Oh, it's all deep ocean. Great. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks, Mr. Rune. Okay, so... I'm going to actually get on my mountain. Oh, look at that! I even have stone. This is going to be good. Good, good, good. Um, oh, and also when you when you explore around... Generally, in the beginning, you want to take tiles that you can move as fast as possible across, right? Because you're trying to cover as much space. Right. Um, and then also, if you can, you always want to end your turn, like, on a hill so you can see higher up. So, right. And I'm going to be behind a little bit, though, because I'm already, like, four turns behind everybody. Took me a little bit to move, but this should be good. And at least I'll have... Uh, I should have the ability to grab that salt soon, so I'll be able to grow quickly. All right, found a city. Uh, no, I can't buy it yet. Uh, I gotta go meet some city seats. I want a scout. Um, as the mine, sometimes I do grab the atlist first if I'm really thinking it's gonna be a hardcore game. Um, but I think in this case we should be okay. Uh, so city management, lock, production. There we go. All right, let's keep looking. All right, got me a rune too. Oh, and look at this. I got another mountain range on my left. Um, so yeah. And that's like the, I don't remember what the hell the mountain range is. I know what that one is in the <laughs> geography, but I don't remember what it is. But, like, I can build a second city over there next to the mountain, and there's jungle all over there. So, yeah, I'll yeah. be... I can do definitely well with that. Be good for science. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I think you're in, like, Russia territory. It sounds like that's what it is. Because um, you have, like, tundra north of you. Um, you're probably your best bet with your scout is if you go, like, top left. I think there's a city-state that might show up there sometimes. Um, and then definitely south of you is, you know, all uh, either core Europe or uh, Middle East, which is really good for stuff. Right. Um, yeah, I definitely think I'm on South America. Unless this is like some random... No, it can't be Australia. This <laughs> I think it, this is... Uh, I think this is it. Okay, so what did I get for a tile? Uh, we got free archery! Yay! Uh, that's like the worst tech nice. you can get in the game too. <laughs> well, I mean, in a fight, it's pretty good, you know, that you get archers early if you really need it, or if you're like raging barbarians or whatever. 
but I don't need, I get nothing from archery because I get my atlas <laughs> without having archery anyways. Right. Uh, okay, so next one. Alright. I'm just going to go down here and check it out. Uh, yeah, these are going to be some slow turns for me. Hey, that's perfect freaking timing. Okay, so I'm at a city state. Uh, anytime you see a city state, the first thing you do is always hit pledge to protect on them. Um, it means nothing from a, you know, uh, it's actually going to help you. Or like if they get attacked, if they feel bad that you don't block them. I, at least I don't know. <laughs> I've never heard of anything like where they get attacked and it actually is a pain to the, um, if you don't declare war. But... Um, it basically means um, each turn your influence will change by plus one until it sets at five. Uh, so he'll go up to five influence just happy wise in f a couple of turns um, just for that. Just for being, you know, like, thanks, you know. Um, dang it, I'm two turns away from buying my salt. Um, so it just helps out in the long term if you're trying to make him happy. Um, and I'm probably going to steal this guy's worker um, sooner than later. Let's go look at him. This is a big continent. Um, yeah, I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting it to be smaller. Hmm. But I get my scout next turn. Yay! You gotta love the, the AI though. Look at that. They're all at like 40 plus. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens. The the AI can't play fair, so they have to cheat. Um, yeah, I don't think you're gonna get jungle where you're at. Uh, but no, you can still build region. that. You can still build next to that mountain um, with maybe your next sieve. So. Or did you change anything on your mic? What's that? Did you change anything on your mic? No. Okay. You just suddenly got like a little bit louder. Oh, it's going down now. Joys of Skype. Um, <laughs> probably just doing something. So. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, so you just finished your first scout. Um, it Because you are in Europe... Um, and you haven't met anybody, and we're also, unlike the multiplayer game that we're in, we're going to be at war probably soon. Um, this is probably worthwhile getting a second scout. I don't know. It depends. Like, if you want to find all the runes and you want to find s all the sieves, because you have, like, a giant continent to go look around. Right. Um, you could probably do that. Um, and the reason why I say that also is that you don't, uh, Korea doesn't really need to rush, um, uh, a shrine, right? Um, you don't need to work any tiles just yet, um, because you don't have anything that's going to really give you three food. I mean, you could buy one of the two food squares and then build a farm on it. Because three food's really important. Like, three food squares are core to growing really large quickly. Right. Um, yeah, because the cottons are just going to give you more uh, gold. Um, and a granary doesn't help you out either because none of that's wheat, bananas, or deer. Um, so, yeah, I, I would probably build a second scout here. Okay. So... Man, Antwerp's mad at me. Get out of my city! Fine. <laughs> uh, okay, so I finished my scout. Uh, I am going to be rushing a pyramid, though. Um, it's a, In a multiplayer game, it's a lot easier to get pantheons compared to the AI, because um, they don't cheat. <laughs> uh, but in this case, 
Um, I really want to get the plus two faith going soon because if I can, I can get like culture for jungle tiles and that would be amazing. Um, so yeah, okay, so you found another ruin. That's awesome. Um, and we just got pottery. Oh, we got to pick a new one. Um, I always do animal husbandry next. Um, just because... Uh, oh, you know what? Oh my gosh. No wonder. I was wondering, I was like, why is it 15 freaking turns for this? Uh, yeah. I picked standard time instead of quick. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Do you... <laughs> do you want to maybe reset this I think it might be best yeah I don't know I have okay. a I have a super good spot but you know your spots always vary in this game um, yeah. so yeah I'm gonna reset this I'll probably actually though um, hey let's just do this I'm gonna let's just do it in the game I'm gonna leave like I'm not gonna redo another video or anything like that right. um, okay so I'm just gonna go to the main menu yeah so drop out of the game we'll just we'll just start over um, yeah. Man, that sucks. Oh, well. I was wondering, I was like, why is it taking so long? Like, <laughs> and in that case, like in a standard game, we would, you would not get a second scout because there's no need for it, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. Because everything takes so long, you can just be like, eh, whatever. Okay. Yeah, I was wondering why I saw, like, worker 17 turns. I know, yeah. No. That's because I haven't hosted a multiplayer game on the Earth map before, and it doesn't remember my settings of going to quick. Um, okay, so we're going to do... I was doing a standard size game. Um, let's just do that. So I'm going to do a standard size game. So that's... Um, it's technically for eight people. Um, and for 16 city-states, but I'm going to do, like, 12 city states give us a little more room because again on the earth map when it actually you pick the earth map it just says don't it gives you zero city states because they say like they don't have room for them um but i'll do this i'll just do that size okay so in blah blah, blah quick combat let's host uh i will invite said ian you should have an invite ai all right ai's AI, 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 AI. Okay, uh, switch to Immortal again. And then. Um, and then switch to Team 1. And then we should be all set. Uh, yeah, Immortal, Team 1, AI, AI, AI. Yep, okay. Oh, 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 game options. No, I can't change them. Uh, hold on, going back. Oh, no, I can. Is it still in there? Are you still in or no? Host game. Nope, you're not. Okay. I'm going to invite you again. Are you there? It's, uh, configuring game data. Oh, um, yeah, you're stuck in that, so we might have to wait a sec. <laughs> All right, connecting to host. There we go. Okay, I'm putting all the AIs back in. Um, here, I'll just change you to team one. You got to pick a mortal and your leader and your set. All right. And for some reason, your mic stuff changed again. Um, I might turn you down a little bit. Let's go to options, audio, turn you down just a little bit. Can you say something? Hello. Oh, uh, okay, that's better. Um, the other thing, too, as well, um, is that uh, in Skype, there's a way to say, like, automatically adjust settings under audio settings for both uh -huh. microphone and speaker you probably want to turn those off because it just makes it kind of random um but while i'm doing that i will start the game all right round two 
So you now we'll just have a better discussion about different areas to start with. You would be great to start where I did start because you want to be super science focused. So right. Brazil would probably be the best area for you. You know, the other thing is, you know how it says, like, I get a great person at the end of every Mayan calendar cycle? Just 394 years? I have no idea how that right. equates to turns. <laughs> like, I've never really been able to figure that out. Um, oh, wow. I'm in the exact same area. Okay. Uh, and you are in the United States. So, you're on, like, the East Coast. That's like the, what is it, Mississippi River? And like the Great Lakes to your like northeast? Yeah. So, okay, so let me let me do mine again. Okay, so, wow, I want to be where I was earlier. <laughs> uh, okay, so, I don't know if I should risk moving that far. Um... Dang it. Because I want to be on the water and on a mountain. And I want... I don't think south of me is going to be any more jungle. I'm going to go... I'm moving. I'm moving! I'm risking it all. I'm going to go this way. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm just going to risk it. Okay, so I'm moving. I'm going to try to go back northeast a little bit and hope that there's not a city-state there. Um, yeah. Because there's no squares over here. Oh, I guess I could build, like, on the deer where my axeman is right now, but... Nah, I'd get only furs. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. Right. Okay, so I'm moving. Okay, so... For yours... Uh, I don't know the layout of the train very much on this one. I just know that there's like a, you know how there's like the wheat on the left of you? Like, right. the, you know, it's that's the Midwest, right? So there's a bunch of you know, just open plain area. Um, maybe a square or two. Big, I'm just hiding how big our map is. <laughs> um, and then you're going to hit the, the Rockies and the mountain range. So my thought would be... I would say try to like move maybe your axeman to the right one, um, because that's a lake tile to the northeast, and you want an ocean tile. Um, so yeah, like I would almost see if like you can go to the east coast. So like cross, and then is that? Yeah, that's the coast. Yeah, it's coast. So you probably want to move your settler over the water to the right. Um, and then maybe you'll build right on that rune. I know I don't like doing runes early, but that's probably the best shot. You're on the water, you're on a hill, you're going to have cattle next to you, you'll have truffles and deer, and I'm assuming there's something else over there. Um, right. Maybe crabs. Hey, that actually fits. <laughs> In, like, Maine. Um, so, yeah, maybe. Um, so we're going to move. This is going to be an interesting start. Not nearly as good as what we had before. No. But, um, um, yeah, hey, whatever. Um, okay. So, I've got to move. Let's go this way. This is not looking good. <laughs> uh, I'm going to move down. Try to go on the other side of these mountains, maybe. Okay. Um, all right. So you want to see the water because that'll give you more vision, um, and also rivers give you more vision. So you want to go down to the down right with your axeman. Um, yeah. Okay. So you're gonna want to build on that hill. So, but but just to make sure, go with your settler to the right one. You should be able to see more of the lake. Oh, no. Nope. Okay. Um, I would, yeah, I would just build on that hill. That'll give you dyes. It'll give you cattle. You have some hills that you can turn into production. You're going to have a bunch of uh, river tiles that you can turn into food. I think you're set. 
So this is like a tiny version of the United States. That's you're in Florida. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so you're gonna build on that hill. Um, what did you get when you went on the ruin, by the way? Gold. Ah, figures. <laughs> Okay. All right. I'm going to no man's land. I'm going to try like a couple more moves and then I have to place. Man. All right. I'm risking it just because I want to get a cool start. I guess I could have just stayed where I was. But all I had, all I had was one thing. I had spices. Right. Man, that was a terrible start. Hopefully our enemies started there the last in our multiplayer game. <laughs> yes. <laughs> cool. So yeah, this is an easy one. Work the cattle. <laughs> Three food starts are great. Oh yeah, you can kind of scout around. Maybe go like west with your guy. Yeah. Right. Hey, they're elephants in <laughs> Texas. <laughs> yeah, this uh, gotta love the realism here. Okay, I'm getting into no man's land, definitely. Um, and that's the end of my excavation down here. So. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Man. Do I keep going? I'm doing the long range journey. Oh, and I ran into an enemy. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> I kind of have to do this. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, that'd be bad if he uh, took your uh, settler. <laughs> Oh man. Oh, this could have been so good. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> close. Ah. Uh, I'll bet you he's right where I was though. Um crap. Okay. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Um yeah, cuz he could take my settler and that could end the game. So that would be dumb. So I'm just going to have to yeah. plant. Oh man. Well, I'm on the water at least, and I have two resources. And if he's over where I think he is, then hopefully he will die in a horrible fire because I will take it from him. <laughs> um, okay. Man, and my starting tiles are terrible. I only have two food spots. Um, okay, so potteries. Potteries are good. And... I need to get back to that rune, because that dude... Oh, he can't take my rune. He can't go south. Cool, I cut him off. Um, That's good. Yeah. Actually, yeah, there's no way for him to get down here, so I will just keep going down south and go look. Um, doo -doo -doo. Oh, hey, you got an upgrade. That's good. Yeah, spearman. Yeah, and you can build an air mountain right there, which would give you... If you built to the one that's just to the northeast of the cotton, you'd get cotton, silver, stone, and ivory so far. That could be good. Alright. Um, hmm. Moving on down. I'm going to be far behind, but whatever. Hmm. Yeah, it's a little bit out of proportion for an Earth map. Just a little bit. Those lakes are huge. <laughs> <laughs> and you have, yeah, you have your uh, elephants. Although the dyes do fit in that area. Maybe not deer. I don't know if there are deer in Florida. Yeah, maybe alligators, but... Yeah. Maybe that's the game's version of it. 
since they don't have their own resource. They just said, ah, deers are alligators. <laughs> it's wildlife. And it's food, yeah. So maybe that fits. Yeah. All right. Nope. I think I'm on a dead end down here. This Axe Minute is on a lone journey. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to take like 20 turns to get out of there. It's going to be amazing. Um, well, I'm definitely next to the Siamese. So that means we kind of pincher him a little bit. Although there's kind of a big space in between us. I don't know how close he was. I mean, that scout was right there. But yeah. scouts move two. And he could have just like beelined south for the rune because they cheat. Um, let's go one more. Yeah. Okay. So there's nothing really down here. I mean, I could build down here for whales and furs, but that's really about it. Um. Uh, okay. I need my pure motto, and you need to just start going to explore. Let's go find the guy who took my area. Uh, definitely animal husbandry in this one. It's not. It wasn't as useful um, for me last time. It was definitely useful for you. Because you can right. get some horses around there. Um, horses don't show up in jungles. <laughs> <clears throat> horses. Yeah, exactly. Those silly horses. <clears throat> wow, and here's an axe. Oh, hey, he has my spot. Hey, just got riding. Nice. That's a good, that's a really good beginning. Um, so that'll help us speed up a little bit. Um, yeah, wow, he is right here, and that is two warriors already. Uh, so, no, we can't do this in, in our multiplayer game, but in this game, I can go to Diplomacy. Um, and he has Tradition. So that's a good start. <laughs> if he had gone on her, I would have shit my pants. <laughs> Because uh, I would have been so far behind, and he has so many more resources than I do. Um, so, ah, oh, look at that! I was two squares. Oh, I was two turns from my old spot. Oh <laughs> uh, well, okay. Well, that means I can take him. I mean, that's going to be my like primary goal is to just take him out. Which, if Scott, you're watching this video, I'm going to take you out too. <laughs> <laughs> just know that it's coming. Um, yeah, so, man, I am just, I have no city saints, no ruins, and I can't even get to my two food and two gold tiles. This is going to be interesting. Yep. Um, all right, so, uh, we already have animal husbandry, pottery, and writing, which is amazing. Um, I would say, for the sake of this, that I would love if we could just rush to Composite Bowman. <laughs> uh, so do, like, we could go mining, um, masonry, and then we could do archery, wheel, and then construction. Does that sound good? Yeah. Okay, because I'm going to go kill him. Um, yeah, it's just an immortal AI. They're not that bad. Um, and given his, like, strat his area, I could set up pretty nice on some defensive spots and just plick at him from above. Right. Um, okay, well, that's also good to know if, if in this earth map, this, like, mountain range, like, cuts off half the continent. So, that's good to know that you can't get on the west side of it at all without, I guess, maybe going from above? Hmm. Learning geography. Uh, so you passed the Rockies. You're now in California territory where there are sheep. <laughs> yes. And cotton. That's realistic. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's go looking around. Yeah, wow, look at all that. Okay, he is definitely going to die. Yeah, keep grabbing all these runes because you need to get strong. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Well, it helps us if you get stuff like tech. Um, okay, so I got a new border spot. Oh, oh, 
Uh, you could probably kill that now. Like if you if you grab the go grab the ruin and then next turn like just start heading back. Um, Spearman can take that archery out pretty quickly. Um, and you probably want to that you don't have to deal with it. Maps. Oh, you have a city state right next to you. Right. See a little dotted line near the um, ruin. Oh uh, yeah. So yeah, definitely. Um, so you should be able to work the cattle. Yeah. Um, well, no, because cattle's going to give you production, right? And you don't really need production right now. You need growth. So right. I would almost suggest that you just go west and start building the farm. Okay. Um, yeah, you want three food tiles. Three food tiles are amazing. <laughs> and it doesn't take many turns to do that. Um, okay, mister... He's already at four food. Uh, okay. We will survive. <laughs> so what, what, what would you say I should build at this point? Um, City. Okay, so you got your worker. You did... Oh, you definitely want a granary. Um, definitely a granary. And the reason why is that's going to give you more for the deer. Um, oh, right, yeah. <clears throat> so you'll get a third food from that as well. Um, yeah, I would definitely say that. You don't need a religion to rush as Korea. Um, you might just get lucky with a rune or something like that later. Right. Or that city state could be a religious city state. Okay, so I finished my pyramid. So I'm getting my science and faith return. Um, oh, you know what's something interesting? In your faith. Uh, do you get my faith per turn or no? Uh, no. Okay, I didn't think so. Um, what the heck do I build? I think I need a monument. I think I need a monument. We're doing masonry next. Uh, yes. That was the plan, right? Yeah. Get rid of some jungle okay. tiles. Um. Okay, there. Yeah, wow. I'm just going to have to, like... I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I should just, like... I can get to, like, maybe four or five food, maybe. Nah, you know what? i got to change from a monument. I'm going to put in a worker. It's 12 freaking turns away, but... Uh... Well, I'm next to a ruin, <clears throat> but yeah, I have one turn to grow. So, I don't want to do that. Because <laughs> uh, then it would put me to three, which resets your your growth. Um, so, I'm going to wait until I hit three, and then I will grow. Um, and, wow, we are completely cut off. It is just me and Songhai in a battle to the death. <laughs> uh, yeah. There's not even room for him to get a second city, really. Um, unless he builds along the wall. Because the city state's right there. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So that means you can grow downwards. Yes, I can grow downwards and he can't, which is nice. He's stuck. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna we're gonna wait that guy out. And I'm just gonna do it next turn. Go to three. If I get really lucky here, this would be amazing. Do it. Yeah, I got four population. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you wait. <laughs> that is a perfect example of why you wait. Um, okay, so food, 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 food. I'm going to grow, 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 grow. And I get a pantheon. Um, wait, how did I get a pantheon? Am I already at six? I guess I did was six. Wow, I'm the first one. That is, like, unheard of in a freaking AI game. Like, <laughs> that, is, that is completely... Well, this is immortal, right? I usually play on, like, Deity, which is ridiculous. And the starting area is, yeah. you know, you'll get, like, sometimes the Celtics or, or Celtics or however you say it. Um, yeah. And you will get things, like, where they get it just, like, turn one. Um, okay, so what are my options? So, Culture from Trines, no Tundras, no Desert, no... Copper iron and salt, no faster growth. That is a, a very uh, close possibility. Um, 
I need to kill that guy. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four. If I win a battle within four tiles of my city, interesting. I have never done that. Uh, I wonder how much faith it is. Hmm. No, because faith doesn't help me out in the beginning. I probably want to do... Oh, wow. I thought there was one where you could buy units with faith. Isn't there? Oh, that's a religion. Is that the, That's a religion. Yeah, that's a... That's a religion. That's not a pantheon. I was like, that would be amazing! <laughs> <laughs> um, I could do that. I could do the thing where if I win a battle within four tiles um, and then just get like an archer and just go to town and fight him um, and we would just stay constantly at war get a bunch of faith and then when I get my religion I could get buy units with faith um, wow I have never tried that though uh, food for camps I mean I could do the thing where it's like what is it plantations that one's terrible though uh, yeah one culture from plantations that's terrible. <laughs> That's garbage. <laughs> uh, I could do culture for jungle on the assumption that I am going to kill him. Um, yeah, I could do that. I could do that. Um, it would give me three culture per turn right now, uh, which then I could use to grow pretty quickly my culture. Hmm. What do you think? Do I do the... I get an archer and I just start the war and try this whole like if I kill units then I get faith and then I get faith to buy units or do I play it safe and just get culture and like expand like maybe two cities or so and then go for it hmm I don't know that's a tough one Try the faith mm -hmm. thing. That'd be interesting. Yeah, why not? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so if I win within four tiles of my city. All right. If he was a player, he would know we're going to war. Oh, look at this. And then I got a religious state right next to me. Um, a religious city state. So. And he's got double pigs. So I'm probably going to kill him too. <laughs> Welcome to the jungle. <laughs> Early civilization. I'm going to kill everything of you. Um, okay. Uh, I haven't really looked at your side yet. So you're you're building the farm, right? Um, yeah. You're going to kill that guy. And then your scout, you're going to go grab that rune in that city-state over there. Um, yeah. Yeah. There, I'm, there could be an AI south of that camp afterwards. Like in Mexico. Um, maybe? Oh, you just got a double spawn. That sucks. Uh, what I would do with that, um, I would probably, I would move, uh, how would I handle this? I would probably move to the, the one that's just to the right of the wheat. I would move two away. Um, that archer is probably going to go straight for your town. Um, right. and he'll probably move too closer and then that'll give you the option of then you can fight him while you're in the forest which will help you and you'll be out of the range of the other one and you're going to have to heal right. and then you're going to have to go back I mean it's going to take you a while but that sucks um, okay so let's keep going let's go look yeah so look at this man look at Brazil is like a crazy area to start in like yeah. it's just this little area and it's completely walled off on mountains, basically besides a one little entrance. So, yeah. Oh, look at this. He's already sent me a caravan. Wow, you must think that we are chummy, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So, what turn are we on? We're on turn 18. 18. Okay. Um, I'm just going to keep going up here. Nice thing is that I can pillage that caravan when I want to. Hmm. 
That'll be good. Now do I go honor? Hmm. <laughs> do I really make this a war? Uh, or I can go piety and get mandate of heaven. No, I think I have to go tradition. A tradition start is just so ridiculous. Like three culture return is just so necessary. Like it's not even a debate. Yeah. Um. Okay. So I'm I'm still moving my guy out. And look at you, Mr. Axeman. Well, how my worker end up. Hey, look at there's Guam. <laughs> That's awesome. A little island off the coast. Nice. Um. Oh yeah, why'd your worker just randomly go over there? I have no idea. You know what? Um, you were saying about this issue that you had earlier. Like maybe they're on auto. Like maybe in your settings, like under menu, what is it? Options. Um, like there's automatic uh, automated workers stuff. Like what do you have all checked? Uh, let me check. Uh, I'm not able to click on the menu. You can't uh, click on the menu? Can you hit options. escape? Escape and then options? And then there's interface options. So what do you have checked in interface options? Uh, auto unit cycle. Turn that off. Multiplayer score list. Okay. Enable map inertia. Um, I have that one on. It makes it so like the map when you move it, it has like momentum. Right. Um, the other thing I have clicked on always is show all policy information. That one's a good one to have checked. Um, I think that might be it. The other ones is just under game options. Uh. What do you have selected under game options? Uh, just the two that you did, the multiplayer quick combat and multiplayer quick movement. Uh, d do display yields for civilian units? Okay. That's it. Yeah, there's nothing else. Yeah, I don't know why you're having those issues. Hmm. Maybe what I would suggest is maybe even after, uh, after this, obviously. Um, just, uh, doing, um, whatever it is, uh, like reinstalling the game. Maybe that'll help you out, so. Seems like it's only on this Earth map. Could be. Could be just that Earth map. Um, it might have been something when you downloaded the Earth map, though. It might have just been messed up. Yeah. So, um, okay, so, in the game. So, I, I picked archery because we're going to go straight to construction. Um, so it'll be archery, wheel, construction. Um, and then for your spearmen, you probably want to move him down to the truffles. My guess is you will run into your archer. If you're lucky. Okay. Nope. Okay. That's not bad. Um, Hanging out. Yeah. Well, no, it, it could mean he's going south. Uh, yeah. Um, so this next turn, go like to the bottom left from that square that you're in, and just see if he's hanging out in the plains for some weird reason. But my guess is he's gone. Yeah. Um, because he would have gone beeline to the right if, if the AI quote knew you were there. Um, okay. So oh, the next thing for your your worker, right? So you built the one three food spot. Um, right. Your next thing is um. I would probably start chopping the trees that are right there where you're at with the dyes. Um, so when you build something next besides the granary, um, you can just speed build it basically. Um, and probably a library because yeah, we we are awesome with our libraries. So. Yeah. Okay, so next turn. Man, this they weren't even joking that this is like this place is completely cut off. Like, I guess I can walk through <laughs> Wittenberg, maybe. Um, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, I guess I had to. There was a marsh. Oh, well. 
Um, okay, so... Uh, dun, 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 dun. You meant Wellington, that's good. Um, remember, pledge to protect. Right. Um, I can even I can even pledge to protect him from over here. Um, <laughs> I will totally save you. Um, I'll do that with Wittenberg. <laughs> and then we got archery. We're gonna do wheel now. Um, yeah. And I am what I call a complete dick. So look at what happened to the scout next to my base. <laughs> Where is he? Let's see. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I bought the tile north of him, so he's stuck. <laughs> so when we start war, I'll just kill that thing instantly and get face for it. So that'll be good. Um, okay, so around like what is it, like twenty four, twenty five, or something like that, is really when um, city states will build a, a unit. Um, this one already has a worker. Yeah, but he's scared to come out now because you're in his base. Um, I would go around, grab that rune, and then probably when you get to that rune, he's probably going to send the guy out because you're not in his border anymore. Right. Um, and then I would do the thing where you declare war, you grab it, and then you make peace. Right. Um, well, I can get this one right here. Okay, so... Uh, declare war! Yes! Songhai is going to hate me. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're like, we pledged to protect him. Well, too bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so that'll give me my second worker. Because you generally want two workers in the beginning. That's kind of the pace that I like to work at, is at least two. Um, oh, wow, he doesn't got somebody happy. Oh, you need to grab the rune, though. Um, yeah. Make sure you grab that. Although he might let you, he might have a guy come out now though, so that could be helpful. Um, yeah. So what I would do is just move next to archery, dude. Like go, go, kick his butt. Yeah. You should be able to beat him. Should. Okay. Uh oh, did he get it? Oh, thank God he didn't. So somebody got goddess of protection, not Songhai, which is amazing. <laughs> that would have sucked. Um Yeah, you should I can't see your combat stuff, but you should be able to kill that guy next turn. I don't know, it's gonna be cut it real close. Yeah, it's, it says that I can, so Yeah, go for it. I will be able to. Well, he's going to shoot you next turn. Yeah, uh, that's true. So, like, it's going to be close. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You might have to, like, run for your life. Uh, I don't know. It's going to be interesting. We'll see. It might be one of those things when you when you mouse over it, it might just show that you will both die. And then it's just, it's a gamble. It's, just, <laughs> you, it's like a coin flip. It's like, I will win or not. I mean, and it sucks you could lose your... Spearman to that. Um, oh, you just got screwed. Wow. No. Wow. Okay. Uh, well then. Yeah, so what I would do... <laughs> I would... Uh, you got two turns left on your... Um, on your library. Try switching... You have one thing you're working that's like one food, one production. Try switching it to like one of the two food spots... Um, you want to still make it only two turns, though. Um, so finish your library in the two turns, and then you need an archer. Like, that's the only thing, because if that Axeman comes to go play with you, you're going to lose your farms and such. Yeah. Okay, so I did the tradition opening. Um. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. That sucks. My border expanded naturally to where the scout was, and it pushed him out. Crap. Uh. I wanted a free scout. Yeah, you gotta pop the 
situation. I reset this. It goes to three turns. Hmm. All right. What do I do? Do I go honor? Do I go honor? Great generals help out anybody, right? Even archers. Yeah, they help archers. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go honor. Everybody. This is we're just we are gonna die in this game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So my guy can move. Oh my gosh. So we are completely cut off. Well. I guess there's one spot in Wittenberg that could go through. Yeah. yeah, wow. Okay, so there's one spot maybe to get through. A single spot. Good to know. Um Okay. So, oh, so you it for some reason you're still at two turns. Um Why did it do that? Weren't you at two turns last turn? Two turns till what? Your library was done. Um, uh, I don't think so. Oh, I thought it said for, at least I thought it said for me. Um, with, oh, you can grab the sca uh the worker. Yeah. Um, my turn is over though. Oh, okay. What did you get for the rune? Uh, extra pop. Oh, okay. Oh, that's why you went to 6. Okay. That's why yeah. I, okay. So it was 2, it's just you went to 6. Okay. Never mind. Um, okay, going back in your territory, Wittenberg. Man, this guy's gonna hate me. Um, okay. Three more turns for a freaking worker. Alright. City streets, go weary. Go weary. Yep, they're all weary of us because we have now declared war twice. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if we do it again, I think we're in trouble, or we're already in trouble. I don't remember how that entirely works. Eh, oh well. Yeah, exactly. It's like, ah, who cares? <laughs> there's only two city-states around here, too. I mean, there's, uh, yeah. I think I picked eight or ten for the map. I can't remember. So, but they're all in Europe, other areas. Or I guess there could be one in Mexico. Because, again, that Axeman has not come to you. So... You were kind of in the clear with this incognito. Nope. Yeah. Change my mind. <laughs> oh. Yep. No, look at this. I'm completely cut off from you. Look at that little mountain. Wow. Oh. So I am not getting to you. Apparently, learn geography, I guess. that That's a mountain. <laughs> or it could just be the randomness of the map. Um, wow, right, somebody already did the, um, I need to actually look at that, uh, diplomacy overview. Okay, so he's still tradition, and he did not get the Glade library. Um, so that is good to know. I should build an archer. Yes. Uh, if you wait, well, how much money do you have? 145. Um, turn around if that's right. What'd you say? I could buy one. No, time. yeah. What I would do is I would actually, I would still build this one, but literally when he pops out, you're gonna have composite bowmen, so then you can just buy it to like switch it over. So right. you might lose a farm or two, but eh, you didn't work to anything that's like super crazy important. Yeah. So um, you might want to move your guy out already. Um. Well, no, I take that back. I would leave him there. Just keep trying to build that farm. Uh, once he moves to the truffles, get the heck out of there. But then oh, you'll yeah, be able to definitely. start shooting him. So, um, yeah, and definitely start moving your worker back from the other side. Yeah. Hey, all the AIs are going to the classical era already. Yep. That's the joy of the computer. They have to cheat to keep up. <laughs> Man, look at that guy's hometown. He has got one, two, three, four, five spices and gems. Wow. Although, all those spices, when you work them, you have to get rid of the jungle. So he kind of lost his benefit there. Right. Um, I guess you don't have to work all of them. You could leave them. 
Yeah. But then you can't put like trade posts or anything else on it, so it kind of sucks. Hmm. Nope, sorry, I didn't hit next turn. Come on, worker. Okay, so I'm gonna just move Mr. Scout down the range. And yeah. Oh, I could grab his worker. Oh, do I grab his worker? If I start the war. <laughs> Oh, this is tempting. Oh, next turn if he's there, I'm grabbing him. That'll put him back. If he's smart, he'll guard it. But he might not be, because he already gave us a caravan. Although, oh, I can't pillage the caravan now. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Intrathastain. Okay, so we can't remove jungle yet, so my only option is to move over Nya. Yep, I think it's time to go to war. <laughs> so let's start building an atlas. And you are okay there. You're okay there. I'm going to declare war. I'll lose my trade route though. Um, we haven't met any other AI. Wow. So kind of a cheap in to do. Um, you know we can't do it. I'll, I'll I won't do it in this one. But a cheat in in the single thing that you can do. Give me that worker. Um. <laughs> uh, Hey, and I'm gonna beat up your. Oh, I can't beat up your scout. Uh, where's the worker? Okay, so I can't sell him this turn. I was gonna sell him immediately. Hmm. Let's just defend. He's gonna start getting a big fight going. Um, I was gonna say if you're in an AI game, you can always just. Uh, wow, I got beat up. Uh, let's go up the hill. Up the hill. Chop. Chop the trees. Um, okay, so we finished construction. Uh, I kind of need either calendar or bronze. Um, what would help you out the most? Calendar, because then you can get your dies too. Yeah. So let's both do calendar. Okay, so that means he'll go over here. And I'm gonna get a composite bowman. Can I buy one? How expensive are they? 240! Alright. Time to be a jerk. I'm gonna go burn his mine too. Man, he has seven food to my four. Ugh. I could have I could have just signed my death sentence now. No guts, no glory. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, and um, what I'm gonna do? Hold on. Um, we're just breaking an hour, so I'm gonna stop the recording, and then I will start part two. One second. <laughs>